Right, I'm joined by David Worrell and David on the last game of the season. You know, it's been a season with ups and downs, but for a personal basis, has it been a good season for you? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've played um, played a lot of games. You know, we've had so, tough competition, but you know, I've still managed to rack up a good number of starts. And yeah, I've just fully enjoyed it. You know, being in League One as well. You know, testing myself. It's been uh, really good. And what are some of your best memories then from the season? Um. I know we lost here, but Ipswich when we played here because I thought we'd give a great account to probably one of the best teams, if not the best team in the league. And you know, we battled and we took them all away against a very good, talented squad. Derby not up there? Yeah, Derby was all right, but I think Ipswich was the one. I think Ipswich are better than Derby. Uh, and next season, are you staying or? I don't know. I don't have a clue yet. Um, I'm just going to enjoy my rest and then see what happens. Cheers, David. Thank you. Later. Right, I'm joined by Michael Cooper and Michael for, on a Plymouth perspective, what a season. Yeah, um, couldn't have gone any better really, you know, champions. So, um, yeah, no, after the first four games, I think we were a bit uh, ropey after a couple of losses. But um, now to get promoted and then win the league uh, against quality opposition, um, now we're all buzzing. Are you were named in the EFL League One uh, team of the season, so you must be delighted with that. Absolutely, mate. Um, you know, <laughs> I managed to get it last season and to get it this season with only playing, you know, 29 games. Um, you know, after the injury, it's quite nice to get a little award. So, um, yeah, no, that was nice as well. I was winning the, uh, the winning the league has been, been the uh, been the the main thing, though. And we were talking to a couple of fans, and they were saying that they've got no doubt that you'll be playing for England in a couple of years' time. So, do you think you can reach that milestone? <laughs> um, hopefully, as time goes on, uh, I think that's the goal for for you know a lot of young English lads. Um, but um, my next goal now is just to get fit, get playing again, um, and uh, you know, in the championship now. So it's a new challenge. And the question is, are you surviving next season? Absolutely, yeah. Cheers, Michael. Cheers, Cheers. Cheers. Right, I'm joined by Argyle boss Stephen Schumacher. And Stephen, what a season it's been. Unbelievable to get it. Um, go up as champions with 101 points. No one could have imagined this, so it's been class. It must have been so nervy, you know, going head to head with Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday at one point. Yeah, the standard of the League One has been unbelievable. Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday pushed us all away, but we managed to withhold the pressure and got over the line. And there's a right answer to this, but what do you think of Port Vale? OK, I quite like Port Vale. I think yeah. they've got a good squad, good spirit. They played the game brilliantly today, even though they had nothing to play for. So, really good club and, and thanks for them for, for clapping us as well. Really appreciate it. Ideal. What, and what are your target for next season in the Championship? Go and enjoy it. Go and get after it in the sake. Cheers, Stephen. Cheers, pal. See you later. Good luck. I'm joined by Jay Matete and Jay, what a season it's been for Argyle. It's been great. It's been great. We've all, we've all loved it. Uh, we've champions, obviously. So, yeah, we just can't wait. And like I asked the gaffer, you know, it must have been nervy going head to head with Ipswich and Wednesday at one point. So, you know, you've crossed over the line, so you must be so relieved and happy. No, of course they, they pushed us right to the to the final game. And but listen, we're celebrating now. I'm just going to enjoy it, enjoy the celebrations. And obviously, I'm a Vale fan. So, what do you think of Vale? You're a good team. No, it was, it was a tough game. You lot came out the traps and put us under pressure. So yeah. Um, you're a very good team and I'm sure you do well next season. So obviously you're on loan at Sunderland, so is it Sunderland next year or another I year? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see what happens, but yeah. Thank you very much. Mate. Cheers, Jay. Right, thank you. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Right, I'm joined by Bally Mumra. I'm going to keep it quick because I know you want to get off, but what a season it's been. Uh, it's been a great season and, you know, it's good, you know, that we can top it off with, you know, being champions. Yeah. And you've been named in the team of the season for League One, so it must be a pleasure. No, yeah, it is a pleasure. Uh, it's a big award. It means a lot. Uh, it's dedicated, you know, from all the hard work. Uh, not just me, but the team, you know, helped me get there and you know, I'm grateful for them, yeah. All right, and last question, is it Norwich next season or do you want to stay one more season at Argyle? I think I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I think right now I'm just enjoying my celebrations and then I made that decision when I'm there. All right, cheers, Bally. Nice one. Top man, cheers. top man. Right, I'm joined by Jamie Proctor and Jamie, you know, the season's had its ups and downs, but we survived and we keep on going. We do, mate, yeah. I think initially we thought we could obviously get promoted and do a little bit more, didn't we? But... Ultimately, the aim was to stay up, so we've done it, so we can all enjoy our summer now and go again next season. And how have you enjoyed, you know, the season at Vale? Uh, I think last season was a little bit better, but ultimately we've stepped up a league, um, survived, and yeah, it's it's a good group, so we've we've all enjoyed it. And you you know you've been injured for most of the season, but the games that you've come on, you know, Shrewsbury pops to mind where you come on, you score straight away. Are you happy with the games that you've started? Uh, yeah, obviously you want there to be a few more, but. Yeah, I think I contributed when I've when I've played, so that's that's all I can ask for, I think. And uh, are you here next season? Uh, I don't think I will be now. Right, James. Cheers, Jamie. Top man. Cheers, Jamie. mate.